Hi everyone, Eric Lewis here with GetZone.com and we're here at Range Day and I'm here with Martin. Tell us a little bit of what you got going on, who you're with, everything like that. Well, I'm the president and CEO of Armscore Rock Island Armory and we're the largest producer of 1911s. Although I got a striker fire that you guys are gonna look at today as well. I'll never turn down an opportunity to shoot a gun. I mean, <laughs> absolutely, man. <You laughs> so, what are what are some of your highlights for 2022? Like, what are what are the up and coming products that you guys are really excited about for the new year? Well, the most excited I I, I think for me um, is that I opened up manufacturing here in the United States uh, earlier uh, last year, and uh, this has been a dream of mine um, to start manufacturing firearms in the United States. Uh, we'd started with the ammunition plant in Victor, Man Montana. And now we've got one in Pahrump, Nevada, and we're moving it to Cedar City, Utah. Oh, awesome. Uh, the state of Utah has been so kind to us, and uh, we're so excited. We're working with the Technical College there and Southern Utah University for people to come on and work, and we hope to hire between 150 and 200 people in the next five to six years over there. Well, that's kind of as American as it gets, right? You're manufacturing in the States and you're creating jobs here. That's, that's right. all the good stuff. I'm Filipino, by the way. I just want to let you know, I like exporting jobs to the United <laughs> States. So uh, it's, uh, I love this country. Uh, You'd be hard pressed to find a non-American who loves this country more than me. Well, that's, that's awesome. Well, let's take a look at some of the new uh, products you guys have yeah, coming fantastic. out. Yeah, fantastic. And please, you got to take a look at the SDKs. The VRF 14s, uh, the TM 22s. So we have multiple factories now. We got the Philippines, Cedar, and we got Turkey. So uh, look for a lot of new products coming out from us. Sometimes three in a year, four in a year. It's uh, we're we're targeting at least one new product uh, coming out of each factory every year, and new and uh, unique as much as possible. That's what Cedar's for, actually. It's unique. Okay, awesome. Well, let's check out some of those guns. So we got Jonathan, he's gonna help walk us through some of the new products that we were just talking about. So go ahead, what have you got for us here? All right, so the first thing we wanna start off with is, is the STK-100. This is the very first striker-fired pistol that Rock Island Armory has produced and manufactured. Um, I know it looks a little similar to something else that's out there, but we do have some pieces that I think just kind of help push it over the top. The first thing and the most noticeable is that it's an aluminum framed clamshell design in here. So really, it kind of gives you a little bit more weight on the bottom of the gun to really kind of, it kind of helps curb the bite of the nine millimeter round when you're shooting it. Right. Uh, one of the other things I like about the frame is it comes with that extended beaver tail. So those people that have beefier, bigger manly hands, unlike me, uh, <laughs> that have to deal with slide bite, Here's one of the solutions for them. The other thing that I really like about this firearm is when you look at the slide, a lot of people send their guns off to get the work done right, exactly. that this slide already has done. And because it's already done, means you don't have to send it off, which means you don't have to void the warranty. So this gun now has a warranty, but it's already got the lightning cuts. It's got the extra serration cuts on it. I mean, it's ready to rock and roll. Now, the productions that we have right now, only fit the Vortex Venom Red Dot, okay. but we are currently working on some sort of receiver plate system where you're gonna be able to really pick and choose what kind of optic, that you know, whether or not sense. you're a Leupold or a Vortex or a you know, Seymour Sight fan, you're gonna be able to have the options to install those. That's awesome. So basically out of the box, it's all tricked out, you're ready to go. So what's something like that gonna cost? It sounds like it'd cost a lot. So MSRP on this gun is gonna be $499. Oh, wow. Which is going to be way competitive considering, like we said, a lot of the aftermarket things that you would have done to this right. firearm, it's already done. Plus you keep go. your warranty. Plus you keep your warranty. Well, that's awesome. I can't wait to see what else you guys have coming. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Now the next firearm that we're getting ready to release in the summertime for this year is the TM-22. This is chambered in 22 long rifle. The thing I like about this firearm is uh, that it is an all aluminum receiver. There's no polymer or anything like that, like some other uh, other 22 long rifles that are out there. Right. Um, so you got an all aluminum receiver handset. It'll come with an aluminum uh, buttstock and tube here, but that is a conventional threaded um, AR style piece. So you can actually remove this and put an adjustable stock oh, on okay. here if you choose to do so. It'll also come with a threaded end, so if you want to throw a suppressor on this bad boy to really make it nice and quiet, you're going to have that option right out of the box. Nice flat profile trigger, which I'm a huge fan of, and the trigger pull on this thing is ridiculously clean and light. So for me, I feel like a firearm like this is that perfect gun, especially at the price point of $299, oh, wow. to get a junior into the shooting sports, into firearm safeties, and from my, my, from my mindset, you know, I remember the very first firearm I bought, and so I think it's great if we could get 
those juniors that it's their first firearm they've ever received as a gift or anything like that, for it to be a Rock Island Armory, that's a memory that's going to last for a lifetime, which I think is a great thing to be able to, to get into. Absolutely. And as rigid as it is, it's one that can be handed down generationally and all of that. Absolutely. So. Covered by a limited lifetime warranty. So as long as no one goes, you know, four bottles into a, bo a bottle of Jameson and uh, <laughs> tries to fix anything with the Dremel, it's right. covered. You know, and that follows the gun too. That's not just a first time buyer as soon as they sell it, the warranty's void. The firearm is covered by the warranty. So awesome. it can pass down generations, can't fix it, we'll replace it. Um, this, this model will also come with a 10 round mag, but we do have 15 and 25 round mags that uh, you, can, you can purchase aftermarket as well. Awesome. Okay, Jonathan, this looks like a little bit more of a, of, of a heavy hitter than the little 22 we were just checking out. Absolutely. So this is chambered in 12 gauge. It can go up to three inch shells, um, depending on the magazine. If you're running the super long 19 round mag that we sell with the VR series of shotguns, that'll only fit two and three quarters. But the nine, five, two rounders all fit three inch. So if you want to shoot three inch out of this bad boy, you can. But <laughs> uh, so this is the VRF 14 stands for vertical receiver firearm 14. Now what that means is that because this is classified as a firearm, because it doesn't have a buttstock, it doesn't shoot rifle rounds or pistol rounds, no, no rifling in the barrel, this is not an NFA item. So oh, you awesome. don't have to pay for a tax stamp, fill out paperwork or anything like that. Um, you can walk into the store and then walk out that same day if you're able to, obviously. Um, so this is going to be, uh, and the 14 stands for a 14 inch barrel. Okay. So that's why it's not a, a short barreled shotgun. It, this is just classified as a firearm. Now, um, standard controls of an AR-15, you've got your safety here, bolt release, magazine release. So this gun can actually feel very comfortable for anyone that's familiar with the AR-15 right, right. platform. Um, it's just that where, where this bad boy is a little bit different is like I said, it's, it's a 12 gauge. So <laughs> I mean, uh, this thing's bark is just about as bad as its bite when uh, it comes sure. down to it. But, uh, you know, I think this, this is that perfect gun for those people that love the 50 DEs, the, the 500 Smith & Wessons, the, you know, 50 Barretts and stuff like that. I mean, this, this, if you want firepower and you want to feel power, this is the gun you shoot. Awesome. Well, I think I'm going to have to shoot this one. I yeah, we're going to christen you here. We're going to, we're going to, uh, oh, we, let's just stop talking well, about it. Let's get to it. It's range day. That's let's what it's for. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a little bite it's got a little bite. It's pretty manageable you know for what it is so these are all three very exciting great new products where can people go to find out a little bit more about this for more information they can go to www.armscore.com we have our retail site where you can purchase any aftermarket parts at advancedtactical.com and uh, yeah you know we're, we're here at shot show we're here for the entire trip so if, if you're here you know, we hope to see you at the booth. Um, if you're not, then we'll see you next year.